today's topic karyotyping karyotyping means karyo means in the cell it is the center point of the cell known as nucleus inside the nucleus the chromatin reticulum is present in a condensed reticulum means it is in a network so what we going to do that chromatin reticulum we going to separate it and arrange in pairs for that we need a technique that technique is known as karyotyping so you now i'm going to read the definition karyotyping is a technique through which a complete set of chromosomes is separated from a cell and the chromosomes are arranged in pairs so what i explained uh, before now you getting through the definition no next an ideogram is a diagrammatic representation of the chromosomes so the ideogram is the diagrammatic representation of the chromosome the same karyotyping that is there we going to arrange the chromosomes in pairs arrange and separate the chromosomes in pairs that is karyotyping uh, that now we can see this ideogram as karyogram also so i will show the slide of karyo that is ideogram or karyogram or karyotyping so this that is human karyotyping you are you can see in the 23 chromosomes are separated okay they are separated they are arranged so this is the karyotyping before that we will see the preparation of karyotyping tgo and leven in 1960 had described the simple method of culturing the lymphocytes from the human blood mitosis is followed by the addition of colchicine to arrest the cell division at metaphase stage and the suitable spread of metaphase chromosomes is photographed the individual chromosomes are cut from the photograph and are arranged in an orderly fashion in homologous pairs this arrangement is called karyotype the chromosome banding permits structure and definition and differentiation of chromosomes so i going to explain the explain the preparation of karyotyping with the illustration of the diagram so first what they are taking the lymphocyte that is they are taking the blood in the blood they took the lymphocytes in the culture medium and they induced the lymphocytes for mitosis till that is till metaphase that is in mitosis you have four stages prophase metaphase anaphase telophase you have four stages but you going to arrest the cell division at metaphase stage with the help of colchicine so now you going what you going to do the arrested mitosis that is metaphase stage you going to take it in a slide the particular cells are take it in a slide and you going to photograph it so you going to take a photograph after photograph that is after taking the photograph you going to separate it for that you are using trypsin like some of the chemicals to separate it so separate it after separating you you are arranging it in pairs that condition is called karyotype and this is the procedure for preparing a karyotype hope you understand this preparation of karyotyping next we move on to the applications of karyotyping so it is an important question gender identification gender means what the sex of the baby male or female in mother's womb itself we can find out the male or female if a male have x and y chromosome while karyotyping the baby is blood we can able to find out it is a male sex or female sex okay female sex has double x 
and this was banned because there is a problem in the ratio of male and female babies if the female baby is known in the mothers in the zygote stage it got aborted aborted due to this the government had banned this gender identification test and it is easy to detect the chromosomal aberrations like deletion duplication translocation so if the chromosome in a chromosome a small segment is lost that is called deletion that can be detected even duplication of the segment is also detected and translocation there is an illegitimate crossing over takes place in the stomatic cells that can be detected okay these are the chromosomal aberration they are, these we going to see in the detail in the next classes and identify the abnormalities of chromosomes like aneuploidy so this also you going to see in the next classes with detail so we okay and it is easy to predict the evolutionary relationship between the species so i am giving an example that how life is evolved on the earth first the single cell is formed on the earth the single cell grows on progressive changes and becomes multicellular and the best example is the human being has evolved from man chimpanzee and you take the chimpanzee chromosome number is 48 and the human being number is 46 okay if a human being has one one pair of chromosome extra then we will be the chimpanzee so what means in chimpanzee while taking the karyotyping the 17th chromosome is acrocentric but in man human being it is metacentric so think about the 17 chromosome changes we will be the chimpanzee and the chimpanzee will be the man so this species relationship is studied with the help of karyotyping and we know that man that is human being has evolved from the monkey and genetic diseases in human beings can be detected by this technique so for example in mother's womb in zygotic stage that a particular mother or a father has a genetic disease and they have to trace out the genetic disease of the baby in zygotic stage they will took karyotyping if there is any problem in the uh, that is uh, baby's baby's nature and it can be detected through the chromosome and can be aborted so the baby has down syndrome or turner syndrome that problem uh, the due to that problem the in the zygotic stage itself the baby is aborted so that can be detected and that can be cleared through karyotyping that is genetic diseases can be detected human karyotype so this is based that is human karyotyping takes place on the basis of chromosomes that is on the basis of centromere so how the length and length of the chromosome and the centromere position uh, it is determined in human beings so now you going to see the position of the centromere and relative length of the two arms are uh, two arms the human chromosomes are divided into three types metacentric submetacentric and acrocentric first we will see the acrocentric the one arm is longer and the other arm that is near the centro this portion is the centromere near the centromere there is a small arc like structure that is called acrocentric and submetacentric submetacentric it may be l shaped so you can see the letter for l okay and this arm that is one arm is longer another arm is medium size and the centromere is not seen in the center position the centromere is not seen in the center position but it is nearer to the center position it is it gives an unequal arms of the chromosomes so that is submetacentric and the last one is metacentric equal arms so equal arms and the centromere is seen in the center so center means middle 
middle in technical terms we will say it as metacentric so middle or middle of the chromosome you have centromere so it is called as metacentric and you can see in this diagram this is the karyotyping diagram you have seen the 23 pairs of chromosomes are separated and they are paired and they are paired and according to this they had given the groups from a to g the in a group you have three chromosomes the three pairs of chromosomes in b group you have two pairs and in c group you have that is Seven pairs, that is, seven pairs of chromosome is seen in the C group, and the X chromosome belongs to this C group, and it is the longest group too. And D group, you have three pairs of chromosomes, and E group also you have three pairs of chromosomes, and F group you have two, and G group you have two. In the G group, you have Y chromosome. So, the sex chromosome, X chromosome is seen in the C group and Y chromosome is seen in the G group. They may ask in one mark. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.